Hi, I'm Sarah J. Mass, the author of Throne of Glass. I've been telling tall tales since I was a little girl, so I think I've always wanted to be a writer. I first realized I wanted to be published when I was 16 years old and I started writing Throne of Glass and seeing the reaction that my fans had on the Fiction Press website. It was kind of my fans as I was writing it that kept me going and ultimately encouraged me to get published. I think there's just something in my brain that always wanted to be the one rescuing, you know, the princess on my own and, you know, being the one who slays the dragon. And, you know, I would watch Sleeping Beauty, the Disney film as a kid and want to be Prince Philip or I'd want to be Indiana Jones or I'd want to be Luke, you know, swinging Leia across the chasm on the Death Star. Um, and I can't really like quite explain why, but it just seemed like the guys always had like all the fun parts and like there was no fun in just like waiting around and sleeping. When I was in high school, I definitely had a hard shell that I didn't let very many people in, but I was, I was really lonely. I had friends, but they weren't, you know, really the sole friends I was looking for. You know, they didn't like the things I was really into, you know, like Star Wars and Indiana Jones and all the like fandoms. And I always felt like I was just a little bit like outside of that and like I didn't quite fit in the way I should. Like when I started writing Throne of Glass, I definitely put some of that into Selena's character where she's, you know, shows the world one face, but when she's on her own or, you know, when people get to know her, she's pretty lonely and desperately wants a friend. Everything inspires me. Like, like I went to Egypt, I was in Cairo and I was in Jerusalem and those all influenced, um, you know, the market scene in the second novella when Selena's in Zandria and sees all the vendors from all over the world and, you know, the magic of finding someone you don't expect, like the spider silk merchant, you know, came from random encounters across the globe. Tons of places in our world influenced all the places in front of glass. When Selena is trekking through the dunes with like the water buckets and is like thinks she's gonna die, that is directly based on this experience I had at it's like National Dunes Park in Michigan where like the dunes are like mountains and my aunt was like, Oh, it's just a little hike, you'll enjoy it. Like an hour later, like I could not breathe, like I was like lying on the side of a dune, like just waiting to die. It was horrible. Um, so when I started writing The Assassin in the Desert, I knew that Selena had to suffer, like brutally suffer on the sand dunes the way I had. The world building was never hard for me. It was harder for me to condense it and keep from info dumping because there were so many things I wanted to share with the reader. But the hardest part of writing the books was that after over 10 years now of working on this series, it's been hard to keep track of every draft and what's in the current manuscript. So in my like in my head, I have the whole thing fleshed out and I have different plot lines that used to be there, or plot lines that were added. Um, so the hardest part of writing it was keeping track of what was actually in the manuscript after many rounds of revision. I loved, I loved all the scenes when they're traveling from Endovia to the Glass Castle. And then every scene with like Kale. Like I love that scene where Selena and Kale, Kale are in the library and like, She's just like running around, like spazzing, because like there's so many books and she doesn't know what to do with herself. If I were to create my own Assassin's Guild, this is assuming that Selena is ruling over them as queen of the Assassins, um, I would have to say, okay, this is probably really lame, but the bride from Kill Bill, Terra Thrace, Battlestar Galactica, she would just be ridiculously cool. And then, of course, Scarlett O'Hara, if you trained her, would be ruthless and real. She could, like, infiltrate all the society functions and, you know, be, like, really, like, sweet and, you know, southern and then just, like, kill you. When I first started seeing the reactions to, that fans had, it was really overwhelming and a bit surprising. You know, I wrote the story just for me, something for fun. Um, so it was wonderful to see them react to the story and really connect with it. And, you know, honestly, like to this day, I'm still kind of overwhelmed and I don't quite believe that they love it as much as they do. You know, I hope readers, especially female readers, will feel empowered by Selena and, you know, find a heroine that, you know, can stand up for herself. And I really want girls to feel like, you know, they can be who they want to be and they can find their own strength and, you know, they can go through hell and come out of it. Um, and I hope they just have a lot of fun reading it. Um, you know, I wrote this book to have fun and you know, to really enjoy writing. And I still love writing every word of it, no matter how many drafts have passed. So I hope the reader has as much fun as reading it as I did writing it.